If you are sending cold emails but they are landing into the spam folder, they are not going to generate any leads or sales for your business. The reason is your prospect are never going to read your emails because most people don't check their spam folders. But you can do certain things that could help your cold email avoid going to the spam folder. In this video, I'll walk you through the 6 email delivery tips that will definitely help you make that happen. Tip number 1. Stop using your primary domain for cold email outreach. If you send cold email at scale, it is not recommended to use your primary domain because it can hurt your sender's reputation. As a result, your cold email and important business communication emails could start landing into the spam folder. To avoid this, you must purchase secondary domains for your cold email outreach campaign. For example, if your primary domain is salesandy.com, you need to purchase a few secondary domains such as salesandyhq.com, getsalesandy.com, salesandy.net and so on. Remember, your secondary domain should be identical to your primary domain. Tip number 2. Authenticate your secondary domains. Before you send cold emails from your secondary domains, it's essential to authenticate them first. To authenticate your secondary domains, you need to set up SPF, TKM and DMARC record. Setting up these records is like showing ESP is your email passport. It proves that you own and control the domain you are sending emails from. Tip number 3. Warm up your email accounts. When you start sending cold emails from a brand new email account, ESPs don't know anything about your sending reputation yet. So they will be extra cautious at first. That means your cold emails will have a higher probability of being flagged as a spam. The solution for this is gradually warm up your email accounts by sending smaller volumes at first. Then slowly ramp up your emails over several weeks as you establish a positive sending pattern. The best practice is to start with just 15 to 20 emails per day for the first week. Then build up your email sending volume by 10 or 15 percent every week until you reach 50 emails per day mark. You can automate the warm-up process using tools like Truly Inbox or Vomi.io. Here at Sales Andy, we use Truly Inbox because it is highly reliable compared to other tools out there. Tip number 4. Verify your email list. One of the surest ways to hurt your sender's reputation is emailing a bunch of unverified email addresses. It is essential to verify any email address before sending your cold emails. You can verify your email list using any of the free and paid tools available in the market. Tip number 5. Make sure your email content is relevant. Sending irrelevant and unpersonalized emails can land you into the spam folder. The best way to demonstrate relevancy is understanding your prospect before emailing them. Start with researching their company, role, industry and needs. Then craft targeted content that speaks directly to what they care about. This shows you took the enough time to understand their needs. It also makes your cold emails more likely to bypass the spam filters, land into the primary inbox and even get you responses. Tip number 6. Monitor your delivery from the first email. The final tip is to monitor the delivery and spam rate of your campaign starting from the day one. Ideally, you want to keep a close eye on email states like how many emails are open versus marked as spam or bounce. If you notice any particular emails or campaigns have low inbox placement rate, you need to dig into the why right away. Remember, it is much easier to maintain good deliverability rates than try to recover from the bad sender's reputation. So these are the 6 tips to avoid your cold emails going to spam. I hope you found this video insightful. To see more such videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.